Hi guys, this is Shubham from websitelearners.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this blog in just 17 minutes. So this is the blog we are going to create. It is going to have your own blog address like this. And then we are going to create this blog post. Then we are going to create this menu. And then we are also going to create this about me and this follow me section. And then we are going to create this about page. And this contact page so that your readers can contact you. Now everything on this blog is going to be mobile friendly. So it's going to look perfect on any mobile device you use. So we're going to create all of this in just four simple steps. So it's going to be very, very simple and easy. So let's get started. Before we start, just click the link below the video. And this will take you to websitelearners.com. Now the first step is to choose a name for your blog. So let's enter a blog name here. I'm going to keep it as techiefruit.com. And then click check availability. Once it's available, we can go to the next step, which is to get domain and hosting. So let's click here. And this will take us to godaddy.com. So we are going to use godaddy because they give the domain for free and also a discount on hosting. So let's click get started. Now just stick with this basic plan as this plan is perfect for any type of blog that you want to create. So just scroll down. And then select the term as 12 months. And then let's scroll down and click continue. Now let's enter the blog address here again, which is tech key fruit. And then click search. Now click select and continue. Now just remove this. And click proceed to checkout. Now click create an account. And just fill in your details. Choose any four digit number as your pin and then click create account. Now enter your name and address. And choose the payment method. Now click continue. And place your order. Now let's complete the payment. Okay, so now we have got a domain and hosting. So let's set it up by clicking manage WordPress. And then click next. Then again, click next. And now let's enter a username and password for WordPress. This will be used for logging into your blog. Then click install. Now WordPress will be installed. Once it's done, let's click get started. And then click no thanks and click OK. So now we are inside this WordPress dashboard. This is where you'll be able to control your blog. Now when we reach this page, our blog will also be online. So let's quickly check that by logging out from here. And now if we enter our blog address and then press enter, you can see that our blog is now online. Right now it has this default WordPress look. So now let's go to step three, which is installing a new theme. To install a new theme, let's log in back to our blog. You just need to add slash login after your blog address. And then press enter. Enter your username and the password. And then click login. So now we're back to our blog. So to get a new theme, let's go back to website learners. So just go here. And scroll down to step three. Now choose a theme that you like. And then click this arrow and download that theme. So the theme will now be downloaded on your computer. Now to install this theme, let's go back to our blog and then go to appearance and click themes. Now click add new theme and then click upload theme. Now click browse and select the theme which you have downloaded. Then click install and click activate. Now let's view a blog. So as you can see, our blog has a new look now. Next, let's go to step four, which is adding content to our blog. To complete our blog, we'll be adding 12 different items. 
So let's go to this demo site. The first thing that we're going to add are these blog posts. Blog posts are simply the articles that you post to your blog. So to add a first post, let's go back to our blog and then go to new and click post. Now let's enter the title for our post and then paste the content. And now let's add a featured image. So a featured image is something which appears on your blog like this. So to add that, let's go back to a blog here and then click set featured image. And then drag and drop an image that you want to use and click set featured image. Now let's publish it and see how it looks. As you can see, we have created a first blog post. So this is how you can post articles to your blog. Next, we're going to see how to change the title of our blog. Right now we have this default title. So to change it, let's go to customize and then click site identity. Now let's enter a blog name and we'll also add a tagline and then click save and publish. So now we have changed the title of a blog. Next, let's see how to create this menu. So to create this menu, let's go back to our blog and then click here and click menus. Now let's click add menu and let's name this menu as menu one and click create menu. Now we need to choose where we want our menu to appear on our blog. So I'm going to select it as main navigation which will make the menu appear here. So now let's add the items to the menu. So let's click add items. And first let's click home and it will be added to the menu. Next we'll add a new page called about. And then we'll add a page called contact. Okay, so now we have home, about and contact in the menu. So let's click save and publish. And now if you see here, you can see that we have added the menu to our blog. Now the next item that we're going to add to our menu is the category pages. So what are category pages? If you see in this demo site, we can see that this post has a small tag called videos. And then this post has a small tag called reviews. Now what this means is that this post is under the category of videos. And then this post is under the category of reviews. Now, if we add these categories to the menu and when a user clicks videos, it will show all the posts that are under the category of videos. This will make it easy for the user to browse your blog and get the information they need. Okay, so now let's see how we can apply this to a blog. So let's go back to our blog. And if you see here, you can see that we do not have any categories right now. So let's create them first. So just click the post that we created before and then click edit post. Now just click add new category and we'll enter a category called how to and then click add new category. So now as we have added this category, let's uncheck this and then click update. Now let's add one more post in a separate category. So let's click add new. And let's enter a title for a new post and then paste the content. And let's create a new category called news. And then click add new category. Now we have added the category. Now let's add a featured image. So just choose the image that you want and then drag and drop it here. And then click set featured image. Now click publish. So now when we go to appearance and then click menus and then click categories, you can see here that we have got the categories that we just created. So just select them and click add to menu. Now let's rearrange this and then click save menu. Now let's view a blog. So now you can see here that we have added the category pages to the menu. Now, when a user clicks how to, it will only show the posts that are under how to. So this is how you create categories and add them to the menu. Next, 
Let's see how to create this about page. Now an about page is important because it tells the readers about you. So to create this, let's go back. So previously we created this about page, but we didn't add any content. So let's add the content now. Just make sure you're on this page and then click edit. Now add the content. Now to add an image, just click here and then click add media. Now choose the picture that you want to use and then select the size. I'm going to keep it as full size and then click insert into page. Now click update. And then let's view a page. So we now have our about page. Next, we are going to add content to our contact page. So when we go to our contact page, you can see that it's empty right now. So we'll add this contact form so that people can contact us. So in order to create this form, we need to install a plugin. Let's go back to a blog and then go to our dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. And then let's search for a plugin called contact form seven. When you see that, just click install now and then click activate. Now a new menu item will be added here as contact. So just click that. You'll see this default contact form there and next to which you'll find this short code. So just select that and copy the code and then go to pages and then click edit under contact and then paste that code here. Now click update. And now let's view a page. So now we have our contact form. Now whenever a user fills out this form and clicks send, you'll receive an email. Now the email will be sent to the same email address which you use in GoDaddy. Now the next item that we are going to add to our blog is the social sharing buttons. So these buttons will make it easy for your readers to share your articles. So to add that, let's go back to a blog and then go to dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. Now let's search for a plugin called Social by Danny. When you find it, just click install now and then click activate. So that's it. The buttons will now be added. So let's check that by going back to our blog and then click any of our blog posts. And now when you scroll down, you can see that we have now added the social sharing buttons. Now when we click here, we can now share this post on Facebook. Next, we're going to see how to add these social media links. Now these links will help your readers to find you on social media sites. So to add that, let's go back to a blog and then click customize and go to menus. Now let's create a new menu for our social media links. So just click here and let's name it as social and then click create menu. Now choose the location as social menu and then click add items. Now go to custom links and then enter the social media links which you want to add. So if you want to add Facebook, just enter your Facebook page URL and then just type Facebook and click add to menu. Now do the same for Twitter and type Twitter and then click add to menu. And lastly, we'll add the Google plus link, the text as Google plus and then click add to menu. So now we have added all the social media links. So let's click save and publish. And then let's go back. Okay, so now we have added the social media links. Now if you click here, it will take you to your Facebook page. Next, we're going to see how to add this about the author section below all the blog posts. Now this section will help your readers to know about the author of the article. So to add that, let's go back to a blog and then go to dashboard. And then under users, click your profile. Now scroll down and enter the name and then the bio. You can also add your profile picture by going to this link. And so once you're done, just click update profile. 
Now if you go back to our blog and then see below this post, you can see here that we have got the about the author section. Okay, so next we are going to see how to get this same thing on the sidebar. So in order to get this, we need to install a plugin. So let's go back to our blog and then go to plugins and click add new. Now let's search for a plugin called smart author and then press enter. Now when you find this, just click install now and then click activate. Now let's go to appearance and then go to widgets. Now find this make smart author widget and drag it into the sidebar. Now let's name this section as about me and then scroll down and click save. Now let's go back to our blog and then refresh the page. So now we got this about me section on the sidebar. Okay, so now let's see how to add these social media links on the sidebar. So to add these links, we need to again install a plugin. So let's go back to our blog and then go to plugins and click add new. Now let's search for a plugin called smart social. Now when you find this, just click install now and then click activate. Now let's go to appearance and then click widgets. Now find the max social widget and then drag and drop it here. Now let's add some text here and then add the social media links. So I'm going to add my Facebook link. Then the Twitter link and the Google Plus link. Once you are done, just click save. Now if we go back to our blog and refresh the page, you can see here that we have got the social media links. Okay, so finally we are going to add this read more section. Now this section will help your readers to continue reading more of your articles. So in order to add that, let's go back to our widget page and then you'll find this widget called Shamrock Post. So just drag and drop it here and then let's name it as Read More and then scroll down and click Save. And now if we go back to our blog and then click Refresh, you can see here that we have got this Read More section. Okay, so now we have added all the items in a blog. So this is how it looks. Now you can apply the same steps that I've shown you on any theme you want. If you want to get more themes, just go to the website learners page and then go to themes. So there you go guys, we now have a fully functional blog created in just few minutes. Now you can create your own blog just by clicking this button. So just click start now to start making your blog. So that's it. I hope that you like this video. So just click the like button below and also to watch more videos from us, just subscribe to Website Learners. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.